learning perfect fifths in a major scale is convenient for harmony and structure because there there's a lot of consistency from each note in a major scale there exists a perfect fifth except the seventh there's a diminished fifth why is it a diminished fifth well the seventh note f sharp would require a c sharp to be a perfect fifth so it's just the nature of the scale so essentially we're aligning the same notes a fifth apart five notes apart within the scale and as it turns out structure of the major scale yields us six perfect fifths and a dim diminished fifth i mentioned uh, you know it's convenient for harmonic structure because um the perfect fifth is the uh the two outside notes of major and minor chords and um and so it's it's easy to remember when moving around now i'll show you in a minute on the fretboard here so as we move up uh if we know our major scale structure whole whole half whole whole half whole 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 half we can create a scale one two and i started on g just like the example is here but i'm using scale degrees one two three that's whole whole four is half five is whole six is whole seven is whole and then the one so this, this is a major scale on a single string. So what does it mean um, that each one of these has a fifth? Well, the one, the D is the, f the five, and that note exists right here. We can go A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, so to prove that. So this is um, one, five. I'm gonna group these here so that I have the perfect fifth as together. So from here, I can continue to build the scale in the same way five six seven one and then uh two three four like this so let's just take a look we got two six now because this is a fifth next string separated by two frets this is also a fifth i'm gonna group that three and seven we see that's a fifth because three moves four, seven moves to one, they both move up by a half step. That creates another fifth from the four note, just like it's listed here. Five to two is a fifth. Six to three is a fifth. And then we see here the seven to the four, that, that creates what's called a diminished fifth because you can see it's one closer together. And again, that's just the nature of the scale. Those are the notes of the scale. As it turns out, the major scale produces perfect fifths from every note in the scale except for the seventh. So <clears throat> if I want to um, play these chords in another area of the guitar, I just have to know what's coming uh, next over, over here. So we see like, for example, this is one and this goes forth. That's five. A whole step back is the four. So this chord right here would also exist right here makes sense right four to one or then the three would then be a half step back you see seven to one three to four and then of course the two would be right here and so we see here there's the two there's the six so that means the six is right here now you know because i'm dealing with root fifths i'm getting a little bit of overlap on on these notes um so this is where it becomes important to understand the uh, the order of the fourths because if we're able to count to five, one, one, four, seven, three, six, let's continue on with some of these here. So if I've got the, uh, the six right here, that just goes like that, seven, um, two, uh, this is, this is the uh, seven, the, the diminished fifth once again. And then we're back at the one, one, five, two six run out of room here but three seven there's the four seven yet again um four seven four would continue in that order uh, and then you know so so from here we've got the six so a whole step back on this would be the um would be the five the open string five six seven there's our diminished 
one, five, two, six, three, seven, four to the one, um, five to the two, and six to the three. So we see we start to see some of the, um, the patterns emerge when we go across this way. If, if we uh, can memorize two, five, one, four, uh, four, seven moves down um, from the seven, three, six, two. This is a, a continuous pattern that helps us move this way across the neck. Um, and so all of these are just these, these fifths right here. So let's kind of start over with this. One, two, three, four, <clears throat> five, six. And I'm going to leave out the, I'm going to put uh, seven and four over here and delete the rest of these. If my one is here, it's got a perfect fifth, right? And then a whole step to the two, it's got a perfect fifth. Whole step to the three, it's got a perfect fifth. Half step to the four, it's got a perfect fifth. Whole step to the five, it's got a perfect fifth. Whole step to the six, it's got a perfect fifth. And over here, you see the scale pattern um, is still there. Five, six, seven whole steps are between seven and one and three and four. So if I took this whole pattern, we know that five goes to one, then everything exists right here. Where, where we get into a little bit of, um, in standard tuning, a little bit of trouble is when we approach the B string, there's some adjustments there. For this video, I'm not gonna get into that, but if you're looking to play your one, two, three, four, five, six, all over this part of the neck, um, then you know simply follow this pattern. From the one, um, if we're avoiding the, um, the seven because the seven moves to the four, that means the six, would be three steps back. So if we wanted to play the lower six <clears throat> right here, which consequently is the root of the minor key, um, three to seven, I've only got 15 frets on this fretboard, but most fretboards are much bigger than that. And then uh, three, four. So if we have our uh, one right here, once again, our six, is right there. One, there's two, there's three, there's four. And again, all of these fifths are the same shape because they're all perfect fifths. Um, <clears throat> let me know if that makes sense. If you need further clarification, uh, again, the perfect fifth exists six times within a major key, and that makes it uh, symmetrical finding on the uh, fretboard. The point of this video was to show you, you know, how to find it on a single string and start to move, you know, down the strings and find the same uh, chord so you can have the most amount of options.